So as most of the internet is aware, the new Persona 3 Reloaded trailers came out yesterday on Wednesday. And well, uh, because I, I love this game so very much, I have decided to make a, an, a hyper analysis deep dive. I have, I have notes, so I don't lose what I was talking about. But um, uh, there will be a lot of pausing. I'm assuming that F1 has seen the trailer because I'm not playing it in full. My video would be five years long. I have a lot to say about this. I'm very excited. So without further ado, uh, I, I say we begin. It's the good memories that stay with you. So off the bat there, we see some character shots of the whole gang of, of the Persona Free crew having fun, you know, being the best of friends, having a great time. And gets people through their struggles. But it's also the mistakes you made. That so that there was uh, after they caught Igis from the private beach island and had plugged her into the machinery in Iwato Dai Dorm. Uh, her opening her eye is her awakening again after they ran like four tests on her to make sure she wasn't rogue and delusional for trying to catch a emo boy. Then when she's shooting at someone on Moonlight Bridge, I think that's that's the Moonlight Bridge incident that happened 10 years before the game was set, where, where Makoto's parents had unfortunately met their end and he had to bear witness. Aren't you forever? I'm the one who chose to join you. Now I don't have to be some rocket scientist to tell you that that was the, that was just before uh, Makoto Yuki shoots himself in the fucking head to awaken to Orpheus. Uh, I don't have to be some giga genius to tell you that. I'm pretty sure you could figure that out on your own if you know like one hour of Persona for your knowledge. Back then. That, I think, is the first look at the very first cutscene in the game where Yukari tries to summon her persona, but she can't because she's not courageous enough. That when the sink's running and she's like gasping for air because she can't fathom the fact that she might f die, but not really. I don't fucking know. I didn't know what I was capable of. That's all there is. That part with Junpei was when he fucked off and ran away on the tram subway uh, train, whatever you want to call it. He ran off and found the funny blowjob uh, shadow from the priestess. The very first big shadow boss you fight in the game. Let's do it. I gotta use what time I have left to set things straight. Those shots of Mitsuru and Akihiko was them bearing witness to Shinjiro's dead corpse, which gets me onto the, who the voice is in the back. I think that's Shinjiro telling essentially speaking to Akihiko, that he was there for him for ages, yada yada, you know, what he's been talking about, if you watch the trailer without me pausing it a gazillion times. I think that that's him speaking, and uh, those those two shots were from, were from when he died and sacrificed himself for Ken. I don't have the luxury of doing anything else. Which is now confirmed by, well, not really confirmed, but my little headcanon says it is, because the voice stops as Ken sees blood before his eyeballs spraying from a gun wound. Um, the shot before that of Makoto is, I think, around the time of the final battle with Nyx. I think it is as F1's running up to him, how they do in the movie. Uh, because movie logic and game logic is different because just no one's playing the movie. <laughs> We are the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. The shadows are getting stronger. We need- uh, That was Luke's, uh, the first cutscene in the game again, but um, some of it's not animated anymore. As you can see, Makoto is fucking walking through, like, poor island. It doesn't look as dull. It doesn't look as dark. I can actually see what's going on. To destroy the Dark Hour itself. Let's head into Tartarus and try out our new equipment. Yeah. Nothing beats getting actual combat experience. You know how they said new? That's crazy, because that's new. Uh, that's that's new equipment they have. Uh, new with Persona 3 Reload. 
I don't, my, my good memory, my very good memory does not recall that being in Fez or the 06 version. Oh, June Pays got you back. We expected as much, so don't be careless. Persona. So that there was some shots of Tartarus. You can sprint for it now, I guess. They also made all our attacks look way better and way more cool. Uh, instead of shitty little portrait cards f fucking slowly moving across my screen, uh, they actually line up and are charging up and getting ready to go and fucking beat the shit out of everyone and all their little enemies. Abilities can be dangerous depending on how they're used. Now I might be fucking dementia riddled, but I don't remember any of that from any persona media. Uh, I think that's purely there just to just to have a little bit of Jack Frost marketing to show off the little Atlas mascot and that little fucking cunt. I hate him. I'm kidding. I love him. But um, this is the 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 love hotel thing where um where where the main character and you carry almost freak because they're put under a spell. I want to use this power to help me live my own life. Now this this is. This is the male equivalent of, of confidence because we all know that Persona 3 does not approve of being friends with men. Fuck men. But um, this is Ken's little side story confidant thing. I hope that they just do it how they did Kasumi in the sense that they give them five ranks. So then they, it's not like you speak to them once and then it's, it's just done and dusted because the characters progress throughout the story. It's not like... It's not like Ken has always been, I want to know about my mum, because in the story he finds out about his mum, so what's he like after? It's not. It doesn't make sense for it to be like a one-time thing, it has to be at least like three or five. It would make, it would, it would be the best if it was five. Take this seriously. I never noticed you could see the stars so clearly up here. Knowing the truth isn't everything, right? When that happens, I just go do something fun and forget- I think that Akihiko's side story is gonna be based on, um, based on wanting to get stronger and like uh, wanting to fuck shit up with his fists because he fucked up like 12 guys with his fists anyway so he's gonna be talking about oh i need to get stronger i don't want to be weak again i don't want to i don't want to get injured so i don't have to much out any more fights and that's why he's gonna be like i reckon 100 percent 10 100 million billion percent it sounds interesting <gasps> don't tell me you forgot the promise that is fucking sick. That Persona Fusion animation is amazing. I, I really like it. I really like the Persona, the new Persona animation because it feels, it, it feels like it's fine, like it's a part of him. After being blasted in the head with like two playing cards, he, he's gonna, his brain's gonna turn into a cauldron, he's gonna start stirring, start stirring it up. And then um, you're gonna get that Persona. I don't know, I just like it. It looks like he, dies but doesn't die because it's cool the flames go on nothing's gonna end that next animation gives me hefty persona 5 mementos fusion with earth vibes it's probably one of the few scenes where the game shows off that anyone can get if infected with apathy or whatever it was syndrome in the sense that they just turn into a shadow if they're awake. But I think since that's shown as such a big crowd, I think that that specific animation is going to be later on in the game. Because since the bosses were like, you weren't actually meant to defeat them. They were meant to like roam around. They were kind of like fucking EMPs for the shadows. I think that just because the a multitude of people and how every single day nearing the end of the game, the syndrome rates keep going up. I feel like that's gonna be, it's gonna be near the end of the game to show off how, just how badly it is. And it's kind of gonna be the, like Persona 5 Mementos Fusion with our vibes. Not if we have anything to say about it. Your reason for fighting, huh? The screen does not go black anymore and you don't hear some goofy gunshot. You actually see uh, Shinjiro trying to save Ken, well, saving Ken, but you see him leaping in front of the bullet. Unless after that they make the screen go black and I will, I'll shoot myself. I'll make that bet with you. Man, I'm so damn scared. That scene is from when uh, the whole gang's being crucified by, by the teacher, I think it is. 
or the fucking Strega guy. They look identical almost. I can't fucking put a difference on them. But um, it's around that time where she fucking misses all of her shots because she's dog shit. But in reality, she's actually just wanting to save her friends. You're only scared because you're choosing not to run away. We got some uh, got some little little gameplay environments. You know, you can see. You can see how Makoto runs in the sand. You can see how Makoto runs in Tartarus. You can see how how Makoto runs in Port Island Station. You know? You can see every environment you need to see. I want a purpose and to have others I care about. That's why I came all this way. These new crit animations look fucking sick. Uh, this is why Persona 3 is the best game ever made because why would they do this not for five, but they did for free. I rest my fucking case. Uh, fuck Persona 5 fans. Even if you do forget. This is when Chidori fuses with Junpei to um to give Junpei a little boost in his persona from the gameplay standpoint. But in the story standpoint, it's because they love each other. How cute. They love each other. About us. I'll remind you. Let's make sure this chapter of our lives ends on a happy. That's when that's when death is fused into Makoto Yuki. Yeah. On Moonlight Bridge. That's the incident from like 06. Oh no, shit. Oh, 1996. Yeah. 